Thousands of anti-capitalist and climate change demonstrators have gathered in the City of London. The biggest demonstrations so far have centred around RBS and the Bank of England. Well, there's a massive security operation with police from six forces involved, as Sophie Hutchinson now reports. Police lines holding back thousands of protesters from outside the Royal Bank of Scotland as increasing levels of violence grip this protest. Missiles were thrown over police lines and at least one officer was injured. Demonstrators smashed windows at the bank, which has become a flashpoint in these mainly peaceful protests. Police in riot gear with shields have attempted to push protesters back down the road. Police are holding us in prison. We want to go, but the police are just causing the trouble. You know, we have the right to leave this protest, but the police won't do it. If you try to leave the protest, they batten you with their batons. Is that right? Is that British freedom? As the tension grew, smoke bombs were thrown by protesters. Earlier down by the Bank of England, there were more signs of trouble. The demonstrators, calling themselves G20 Meltdown, had targeted the Bank of England and had converged on it from four different directions. Police also had to handle a separate protest, a climate camp a few hundred yards away. The campers had run onto the road and quickly blocked the traffic with their easy-to-assemble tents. They say they plan to spend the night in the city to highlight their concerns about global warming. There have been, according to Scotland Yard, a number of arrests, but this has been for the most part a peaceful demonstration. Police estimate there are only a few thousand people who are protesting about a range of issues from capitalism to climate change and war. But after scenes like this and with more demonstrations set this afternoon, this police operation, one of the most complicated for years, is far from over. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News. The US President Barack Obama has just finished a much-anticipated meeting with China's President Hu Jintao. 